sellers start to kind of freak out because houses have been selling in two days and oh my gosh, it's, only, it's taken me a month to sell it. So they start reducing the prices of their home because they're thinking back in 2008 how everything happened and they want to get out now. Hello, it's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services. A lot of people ask me, how's the market in Southern Indiana? What's interest rates going to do to your market? Are we in a seller's market? Are we in a buyer's market? So I want to kind of explain really generally what's going in the market, going on in the market as we speak today um, in the end of the second quarter, 2022. So as most people know, we were in a, a mad housing market, extremely deep for the sellers, not much inventory, and the federal government has decided to try to slow down inflation, which that's a good thing. We need the inflation to slow down. So what they've done are that they've, they, they're starting to pump the brakes by raising the interest rates to slow down spending and try to get this inflation under control. What does that do to the housing market? Well, anytime you raise rates, you are basically um, eliminating the amount of people that can qualify to buy homes. So your buyer pool shrinks. And then what does that do for sellers? Well, we, we well, thankfully right now we're, we're still short homes in Southern Indiana, so we haven't felt the full effect of it yet. But what that does is there's less buyers in the pool, which less, it lets the listings and the sellers start coming to the market, which creates more inventory because there's less buyers for that inventory. When you got more inventory on the seller side of the market, the sellers have more competition. It takes a little bit longer to sell the houses because the buyers are in not such a hurry. Sellers start to kind of freak out because houses have been selling in two days and oh my gosh, it's, all, it's taken me a month to sell it. So they start reducing the prices of their home because they're thinking back in 2008, how everything happened and they want to get out now. So what that does is brings more competition to the market for the sellers. The sellers have to be more competitive. So they kind of adjust their prices to more of a market value, not reaching for the sky. The good thing for the buyers is there's an opportunity there for buyers that are solid and ready to go. They might be able to go in and buy a listing a little bit under market price, or they may pay market price, but not have to pay over with a lot of competition against other buyers. So really what's going on right now is a healthy process that's kind of making it more of a level playing field for everybody. With that said, in Southern Indiana, as of the day, we still only got about 600 homes on the market. We've only got about 10% more inventory than we had at the first of the year. Guys, that's not much. We're still in a seller's market. It's still very healthy. But I'm going to tell you, you know, I was listening to Dave Ramsey the other day, and even Dave, he's very conservative. He said, if you are wanting to buy a home or needing to buy a home and you can afford to buy a home, there's no better time now than now to buy a home. These rates are not going to come down. The home prices are not going to come down very much. You know, we've been preaching for three, four, five months, guys, it's time to sell your house. It's time to buy a house. The rates are good. You know, you could pay $20,000 more for a house if the rate's cheaper and still get a better deal. Now the house may be a little bit cheaper, but the rate's higher, so your payment's bigger. So that's kind of what's going on in the Overmar market. It's really, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to become a very a uh, healthy market. I feel like we're going to have a little bit longer time on the market. Uh, listings will sit a little bit longer. I don't think they're going to see a bunch of price reductions. The price reductions that you'll see will from people be from people that maybe were just a little overpriced to begin with. And now they're having to come down a little bit. There's more competition. We got to be best in class to sell our home at this point. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. It's Jeremy Ward, Ward Realty Services. I've been doing this for about 20 years. So I've seen the 08 crash and I've seen this, this crazy seller's markets we've had now and pretty much everything in between. You can get a hold of me at 812-987-4048. I'd be glad to give you some information and some statistics that will help educate you to be able to make a very good decision in the home buying or selling process that you may have in front of you. Talk to you soon.